Hi, this is David with Best Rest Products, home of the Cycle Pump Tire Inflator that has a lifetime warranty. Today I'm going to talk about a new product that we've just developed called the Bead Spreader. What it does is it spreads the side walls of a tube tire so that you can get your hands inside to fit either the inner tube or the rim lock. Um, if you've had tube tires in the past, you know that as you're trying to either put in a new tube or take out the tube, as you fit your hand inside the carcass, your, your hand gets pinched. As soon as you put it inside, the tube and the tire move and you simply can't get a hold of the tube and get the valve stem of the tube through the hole. So thinking about what is the process, what's the issue, and we came up with this simple invention. Now, the bead setter is really a simple bent metal device that fits with one of our best rest tire irons. You insert the tire iron into the bead setter bracket and then you use this bracket to lever or uh, pull the tire sidewall out so that you can make room to work inside. Depending upon your bike, you'll have either a narrow rim or a wide rim. The rim that's uh, over here comes off the front of a KTM 450. It's uh, like two and an eighth inches wide, very narrow. This rim is off of a BMW 650. Uh, this rim is almost four inches wide. You got a lot more room to work inside this than you do in this, but the same problem applies. Now what is that problem? My tire's on the rim. This is my tire. The tube is inside. If I'm going to reach inside and grab that tube, as soon as I do that, the whole tire assembly moves in this fashion. And then I can't get my hand inside. I can't push the valve stem through this hole in the rim. I can't push it out if I'm trying to remove the tube. It's particularly difficult when you're working with a very small, narrow rim like this. I mean, the, the tire is this wide. So when you put your hands inside, there's no room and I've got scars on my knuckles uh, from that very process because uh, I've changed a lot of dirt bike tires in my day putting in new uh, tubes. The other issue that you have on uh, trail bike tires, KTM or a high performance uh, trail bike of some sort, is a thing called a rim lock. A rim lock is a rubber device with a threaded stem on it. It goes through a hole in the rim and then there's a nut that tightens it down. What it tightens onto is the sidewall of the tire itself. So if this was my tire sidewalls, they would be against the rim and they would be against the inside of the rim lock. And once everything is in place, then you tighten the nut, which locks the sidewall onto the rim. And this is for uh, tires that run at very low pressure, uh, you know, eight, 10 pounds or high performance tires so that the, the tire itself doesn't spin on the rim. Let's take a look at the typical tube. This tube has been well talked. I call talc. Uh, we sell a thing called the talc tube. It's a simple tube that contains talcum powder. And the purpose of the talc is to lubricate this tube inside the tire carcass. So you're seeing this tube covered with this white chalky substance. But if I'm going to put in a new tube, I'm going to be sticking it through the hole in the rim right here. And it's easy to do when there's no tire in place, but as soon as I try to do that with the tire carcass on the rim, or halfway on the rim actually, there's simply no room. Again, I'm trying to reach up inside this tire with my fingers to fit the valve stem through the hole. Very difficult. Uh, particularly on a narrow rim like the KTM. In the case of a wider rim, like on this BMW, I've got more room because the rim is wider. But even so, when this tire carcass is in place, as soon as I reach up inside to fit the valve stem, the entire tire assembly moves toward my hand. Then when I'm trying to fit this through the hole, I can't get there because the valve stem itself is missing the hole. 
Now you fiddle around with this for a while, it gets very frustrating. Probably one of the hardest things to do when changing tube tires is getting that valve stem through the hole. So we came up with a solution. The bead spreader uses either one bead spreader on a narrow rim or two on the other rim. And what it does is it hooks on to the sidewall of the tire. The tire would be in this space here. And then as you squeeze the tire irons together, it spreads the sidewall of the tire open. When that happens, you have an incredible amount of room, open space inside that you can reach your hand in and it gives you room to get the valve stem into the hole very easily. So wide tire, wide rim, easier to do but still difficult. Narrow rim, narrow tire, very difficult to do. Typically on a front tire they're actually harder to change a tube than on a rear tire. We're going to stop now. We're going to put these tires on the rim halfway and we're going to show you this process both in taking the tube out of the tire and putting the tube back in the tire. If you want to learn how to change tires we've got YouTube videos on the Best Rest YouTube channel. Uh, a lot of good videos that show you that process. Watch the videos. Uh, pretty soon you'll, you'll know everything you need to know about changing tires both for tubed and tubeless tires. What I'm going to show you now is how to insert the tube into this BMW rear tire. And the typical way would be I'd have it halfway mounted onto the rim. My hole for the valve stem is right here. I would take my valve stem and I would reach up inside and try to get my hand inside and try to get that valve stem through the hole. And you can see that as I put my hand inside and try to get it around the corner, what happens is the entire tire assembly moved that direction. It moved to where I can't get to where the hole is. Some guys will try to put the tube on this side and slide the tire over the tube, but I've not found that to be particularly helpful. In a big tire, we're going to use uh, two bead spreaders attached to our tire irons. The first one goes right where the valve stem is and it hooks onto the tire in that fashion. It hooks onto the, the side wall or the bead of the tire. The other side hooks to this side and when I do that I've now opened up this huge area inside where I can fit my hands. Now I've got room to get my valve stem through that hole. But here's a trick that we found is helpful for these big tires. And that is, we're going to use a zip tie to hold this bead spreader up tight against the rim in this fashion. Because if it moves that direction or towards the center of the rim it's going to cover up our hole. Now the way that we do that is we simply take a couple of zip ties that we daisy chained together. We slide them behind the bead spreader. We go around a spoke and we zip tie that in place. What this does, once I get that tight, what this does is this is going to keep my bead spreader up against this side of the rim. Then with the other bead spreader on this side, once I get that in place and I squeeze the ends of the irons together, 
I've got all sorts of room inside and I can feel the hole for my valve stem. It's right here. I've got plenty of room. I've spread my sidewall. I've got my valve stem here. My hole is here. I've got plenty of room to reach up inside and fit that stem through the hole. Yeah, there's always a little fiddling because you're working blind. There. The stem is through the hole. Knuckles are not scratched up. Now it's just a matter of putting my other nut on the bottom of this so it doesn't take off to the inside. Steve will hand me that other nut. I'll thread that on to the end of the valve stem. So that as I'm working, I'm not going to lose my valve stem back up inside. Now I'm holding this with my left hand and working with my right hand using two bead spreaders. You could use a zip tie between these irons, either through the holes, and that would hold it in place, or you could go around the ends, the hooked ends, and that would also help hold it. But for the film here, I was doing it with the tire standing up, one-handed, one hand reaches inside, there's all sorts of room inside here. Now it's just a matter of stuffing the tube in the rest of the tire, which is easy to do. I could use the bead spreader if I wanted to, or I can probably do it without. Take off my bead spreader, cut my uh, zip ties, or remove them. You always should have zip ties on the bike. Bead spreader comes out. I lay the tire down. I stuff my tube inside and then I uh, inflate it so that it spreads out, gets rid of all the kinks. I deflate it and then I'm going to mount my tire, uh, this side of the tire, back onto the rim and I'm ready to reinflate and hit the trail. Again, if you want to see how to change tires, go to our YouTube channel, Best Rest Products, and you can watch that video there. I've made one myself, Tracy Jeffries has made one, uh, you can pretty much learn everything you need to know about changing tires from watching that. So that would be the process for uh, putting the tube inside. If you're going to take the tube out, uh, you may be able to just, let's say this tube is already in the tire, you may be able to just push up on the valve stem, you've removed the nut, it may come out, but it may require that you use the bead spreader again because as soon as you try to push this up, the valve stem may be hitting on the inside of this tire sidewall. So you may have to put the bead spreader on even to get the tube out, or at least to do it easily. So we've done the wide tire. That was pretty easy. Now we're gonna do the narrow tire, which has a slightly different technique. And we'll change over to that, and we'll show you how it's done. Now I'm going to show you how to work with a narrow width rim front tire off a of KTM 450. It's got both a rim lock and the valve stem off of the tube. We'll show that in a minute. Um, some people will actually have the rim locks mounted on the rim before they mount the tire. You could do it that way. I like doing it this way with the bead spreader because it works pretty easy. The dilemma is this. I've got to get this large block of rubber inside the tire down through the hole into the rim. I'm not going to tighten it up until I get the tire fully mounted. But as I reach up inside and try to work, as soon as I do that, again the tire moves towards my hand and the hole is inaccessible. It's in the center of the rim. The whole tires move that direction so it's physically impossible to fit it. That's why some guys will mount the rim lock before they mount the tire. Well, here's a solution using the bead spreader. We only need one bead spreader, but we need two tire irons. Right where the hole is for the rim lock, 
I'm going to catch the tire with the tip of the iron, pull it over the rim, and in this case I'm just going to set that tire iron against the inside of the rotor. Now if I was working on the opposite side, there was no rotor, I'd zip tie that tire iron in place. What I'm doing is I'm holding this side of the, the tire sidewall as far away from the well of the rim as possible. Then, on the working side, where my hole is, I'm going to connect the bead spreader to the opposite side of the tire and I'm going to rotate it in this fashion, pulling the sidewall up and out. Man, I got all sorts of room here to fit my hand inside. My hole is there. Here comes my rim lock. Now this may take me a second because I'm doing this blind by feel, kind of a braille thing, but I have to reach up inside, get that rim lock, get the stem of the rim lock into that hole, there we go. That went pretty quick and easy. I put the nut on the rim lock. I loosely thread it so that it doesn't go back inside. My rim lock has been installed. Now I'm going to move on to the tube valve stem. The hole for the tube is right here, same size hole in this case. Once again, same process. I'm going to hook the tire iron onto the tire, bring it over the edge of the rim, hook it onto my rotor. Again, if I don't have a rotor, I'll zip tie that tire iron onto a spoke. Get my bead spreader tool ready to go. Get my tube ready to go. The tube is talc, as I described earlier. Attach my bead spreader to this side of the tire. Lift and open it up. And then reach inside with my hand. Find that hole in the rim. It's in place. I need my other nut. Give me a second, I'll find it. So after a five minute search in the garage for that extra nut, we finally found it hiding underneath a piece of carpet. I'm gonna thread that nut onto the end of the valve stem. Um, there's different theories on whether you put a double nut on the outside. Uh, the purpose of the nut is to keep the valve stem from moving inside the rim uh, to prevent, if you had a low tire, the valve stem basically disappearing. Uh, some people put two nuts on the outside, use them as a jam nut so that it can't move. Uh, typically on a trail bike you don't tighten those nuts all the way, tightening the rim because when you do that, uh, that rotation of the tire can cause the valve stem to tear out. So have it loose, but put the nut on there so that it won't disappear inside. So I've got my nut on my valve stem. I've got my other tire iron. I move that out of the way. Now it's just a matter of threading my tube into the tire, inflating it quickly to take out the kinks, deflating it and then spooning on the other side of the tire. Uh, and you can watch our videos on our Best Rest YouTube channel to show how that's done. One thing I want to mention very quickly is when you are spooning tires on, as you rotate the spoon, don't go more than about 110 degrees with the iron. That'll prevent a pinch of the end of the tire iron with the tube itself. So I'm gonna stick my tube up inside I'm also going to run the tube over the top of the rim lock and when I finally get everything in place and I've slightly inflated, I'll tighten down my rim lock and I'll mechanically attach this tire to the rim so that it can't rotate. So I've taken this process of getting this tube inside and the 
the rim lock inside, turned it into something that was pretty quick. I mean, what, 10 seconds perhaps? As opposed to the, the brutal process of trying to get my hands inside, fighting it, taking the skin off my knuckles. Um, the bead spreader brackets work wonderfully well for this process. They have to work with one of our patented tire irons. It's got a special hole in it, and these tire irons are also the irons that work with our Best Rest tire iron bead breaker. So when you buy a bead breaker, you'll also have an option to get the bead spreader. The bead spreader is available as a single item for guys that are doing smaller trail bikes with narrow rims. It also comes with two bead spreader brackets, which would work with two of our irons. And that's something I recommend for people that have larger bikes, uh, 650 and up. Uh, at least you need uh, one of them uh, to do the process, two is better. And why not carry two because they pack very small and very light. So I'll get this back inside, we'll go through the process, we'll get the tires mounted, inflated, and we'll get them back on the bike. So what I've shown you in these videos is how easy it really is to put the tube inside the tire using the bead spreader. Both the tube stem and the rim lock. Uh, this is the easiest I've ever found any technique for getting those two difficult items into the rim or in some cases getting them out of the rim so you can make a change, you can re replace the tube. Once again, you can get the bead spreader uh, in two units or you can buy a single unit. You're also going to need to get our tire irons. Uh, they're a patented tire iron with a special hole in it. Um, this process went well very easy. A couple other things you might want to have, and that is uh, some zip ties. Remember we showed you how to zip tie the one side of the bead spreader to the spokes, and you may want to have a small piece of electrical tape. We found it was easy to tape the tire iron into the bead spreader bracket so that when you're working with it, the thing doesn't come uh, unattached. So this seemed to work pretty easy for us. In the original video, we shot it using clear cellophane tape, but black tape is a good solution too. Anyhow, I'm ready to put this front tire back on my KTM. I'm going trail bike riding tomorrow. And then next week, Steve and I are going to take off on the big bikes and do some adventure touring. This is David with Best Rest Products. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the trail.